about it. Shadows in the water. It's dangerous. Boat in Arctic Ocean. Old dude. Prillin. Good morning, 47. Hot Diane. The Ark Society's Ebony goddess. gathering is several weeks ago. Angela, I don't know her name. should give us ample time to prepare. Meanwhile, Mr. Gray has an off-the-books request. Noise. Is it butt sex? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I don't mind. One of my best fixes. Before Fixer Romania, uppers. I left him in charge of the militia. Romania. Told him in no uncertain terms to cease all attacks on Providence, stand by and uh, await further orders. Noise, noise. Safe to say he did not. As always. It looks like a hedgehog made love to a raccoon in a dumpster. That's the byproduct of that. Gang of international thieves. They specialize in ruthless spectacle heists. Zero regard to collateral damage. I've seen the man's file. What He's a real piece of work. It's not like I had much choice, seeing as all my best lieutenants were killed by you two. Hmm. Fair point. Nevertheless, Crest is a rabid dog. Lieutenants. He is my responsibility. And you take care of him. Mistake. I would like your help correcting it. Current whereabouts? Your Amber mother's Island. butt. And Amber Rose, baby girl. North from the Strait of Malacca. Malacca. So incidentally, one of Wazir Kale's old ports. Wazir Kale. According to my intel, Crest and Is that his a men have joined forces with a local pirate syndicate to raid a passing tanker. His goal: a control unit for an Ether Corp satellite being covertly shipped abroad. The satellite is a node in the company's most secure cloud storage network. Omniverse. Would bear fortune to preserve its integrity. Don't you guys need like a flashlight, saying? maybe a spotlight, maybe an iPhone light? You guys barely can see anything. We don't have the luxury of a full investigation. For us to move against the constant, the ball spot. Evidence to think the threat is over. He's doing all this to acquire the company Rogaine. The militia attack on Ether would raise alarms. Ether. Forty-seven. Yes. You'll need to eliminate Crest and destroy that control unit, or lock the militia out. Cheers. The satellite cannot fall into their hands. Cheers. We'll need a cover story for ICA. Luckily, Aka, a the rapacious leader of the syndicate, rapacious. has an active ICA contract on her head. Noise. Take her out, and we'll leave. I feel like she'd give you a mean, like belly ring. I never had you pegged as a rebel. I'm warming to it. Thank you, both. Maybe like a lip ring. Not a normal, not a normal piercing. She like splash, specializes in belly buttons. That's what I feel like. That cigarette doesn't even lit. What are you doing with it? Are you DJing with it? With all due respect, the rest of the department runs away with their tails between their legs, and we are incompetent. Do you have any idea how many people are left at the task force headquarters nowadays? If you're so concerned with the public opinion, then you want to suppress the fact of what would you rather a serial killer roam free than we risk our very lives? Please, excuse me. Yogamari, what about this L character? Can he be trusted? In my opinion, He's a lot more capable than we are. Right now, even as we speak, he is risking his life. He's playing tennis with uh, his son. Uh, um, uh, uh. Those were the uh, sounds that Light and... Uh, what's the guy's name? Lolliet was were making as you're playing tennis. I am currently watching Death Note on the side. I've rewatched this series about... Let me check. 39 million times, all right? 39 a gabillion, majillion, septillion times. And um, so last time we had a problem, all right? Last time we had a problem is that we were playing, but at the same time, I had four streams playing on my 49 incher, all right? My 49 incher was running four streams. That's not healthy because for someone like me who has the shortest attention span, even smaller than a squirrel's nut, 
it's just it's, it's not a good thing the attention span the add the adhd all that stuff like in a, in a nice little cauldron and a witch is making a beef stew out of that hoe it ain't a good thing man it is not a good thing um so this time we've cut it down by 50 percent. we got death note playing something i'm gonna get hooked on by looking at it and i'll give you guys some lines here and there um i'm gonna open this bag of potato chips and i might eat this chip or something like that what was that famous line and on the other side, I have somebody. This is actually the only streamer you'll ever. Nah, actually not. I was gonna say this is the only streamer you'll ever catch me watching, but not really. Uh, background. He's a normal small dude. Lives in Colorado. Ain't got nothing going on in his life. He's kind of chubby, but he has two kitties that are the cutest ever. And he has a cat cam. And like, are we really? We're kind of watching him for the cat cam. All right. So yeah, today I'm gonna do a much better job of not going rampant with the. Uh, this looks like a hedgehog took a dump on a squirrel's face, and this is the byproduct of that. This right here is the final mission of Hitman Do. Hitman Do. Hitman Uno Dos. All right. So that is the uh, final mission. This happens right before Sagali. So let's go back and show you guys what I mean. If you go here, Isle of Sagali. Apparently, this happens in between this. I should have looked it up because we're actually playing it at the very end, which kind of doesn't make sense. Uh, but it's still part of Hitman 2. I could have done a better job if I just looked it up. And we could have done... We would be doing Caven Island right now instead of doing um, Amber Rose. But you know what? Let's keep Amber Rose. Best for the last, all right? Amber Rose is fine as hell. All right, she is fine as hell. Any, I would. Oh my God, shadows in the water, breathing shadows in the water. He has. He's gonna be uh, going in a wetsuit today. So he's gonna be all sexy. Let's read about Noel Crest. Nice intel. Noel Crest was merely a second-string member of the militia until opportunity presented itself, specializing in the discreet retrieval and/or destruction of valuable items, documents, and data. He made a name for himself among those in the know by cleaning up for after others. Or in some cases, retrieving things that are before they could be cleaned up. Before they can be cleaned up. He is meticulous he, and proud of it, spending a great deal of time perfecting his plans and making sure every component necessary is optimized and accounted for. He is a douchebag and is also notoriously guarded with information. The discretion and attention to detail meant he dealt, meant he dealt with top tier clientele. Are a lot of T's in that hole, huh? Um, but despite his access and his talents as a fixer, he had been kept at arm's length by the militia's leader, Lucas Gray. Unfortunately, Gray's chosen lieutenants were decimated by 47, leaving little in the way of opposition when Kress decided to usurp. I'm going to say decided to slurp leadership of the militia. So he got that. He got the leadership of the militia on his knees. Right. He got it on his knees. He had not always been so ambitious and also capable. Crest lacked security as a child growing up in the Midwest. He was poorly anchored and inconsistently cared for by his immediate family. They were far from well off and as a result, his unmet material needs and his unmet social needs, he was extremely vulnerable to be swept up, being swept up in his local organized crime scene. At the time, Crest was still young and quite small in the pants, not to mention more than eager to take risks that might impress his bosses. He was frequently found on his knees and assigned to break into houses in search of blackmail material infiltrating through the doggy style and also going through doors or narrow window gaps and sifting through documents and even the contents of occasional safe once he mastered the art of cracking them. This experience and the praise he had followed fostered his budding confidence and stoked his desire to master the subtle of the criminal arts, criminal dark arts, taught by Professor McGonagall. Um, by the time he was too big <laughs> to squeeze through the holes, he no longer needed to. He began to discreetly offer his services to the wealthy and privileged at first. A whiff of scandal steadily flying a little black book with a who's a who of dodgy executives and morbidly, dubious, morbidly obese members of the elite. He went after fat people. Press learned to reach a little further every time and the jobs he undertook became bigger and more austin- Tacious, wiping particularly sensitive records from law firms database at the behest of a rival legals team, retrieving evidence from a police coal storage lockups to conceal a client's ill doings, even sanitizing the crime scenes themselves to remove every trace of what happened there. So basically, in the underworld, you know what this is called? It's called the janitor, right? He's known as the janitor. 
Every job was harder than the one that came before. The rewards greater. His skills grew in tandem with his bank balance, yet he still held on his unquenchable Gatorade. Needs to be recognized by those above him. Crest was recruited for his skill set as well as what Gray believed he had in his pants and was eagerness to be lead. And in, in the absence of a leader, Crest clearly grew tired of being a follower. He joined many cults and he aspired to turn the militia's remaining resources towards large-scale heists, restoring and even expanding that influence in the process. To that end, Crest believes an influential group of pirates endemic, and, endemic, 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 to the Strait of Malacca, a waterway through which 40% of the world's shipping traffic passes. That is insane. I always wonder, like, well, how, how people be copping stuff out of those 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 cargo containers for sure, man. The loss of the Delgado Cartel damaged the mobility of the militia severely, and the Akai Street Fighter for Six Akai's ad hoc syndicate could restore it with the additional benefit of providing a smoke screen for their activities in the area. Really, for everything Crest could have asked for, and he swallowed it all. All right, Noel Crest is going to be known as the Swallower. All right, what's your name? Uh. Sin Hai Akaka Ventan. Ventan. I don't know. We'll call her Akaka. Akaka. We'll call her Swallow. We got the Swallower and the Akaka. Before she was Akaka. Um, Akaka was raised by a grandmother in a small coastal village south of Chennai. Chennai. When she was six, the aging woman, the only mother she had known, died, and neither of her parents appeared to claim her. Neighbors offered the young girl token offer the young girl token assistance but the truth was that none of them could afford to support her more substantially without taking food from their mouths of their own children like many children in the situation Aka learned Akaka learned how to survive in the streets by doing odd jobs and petty crimes I first thought this is gonna be like the Columbia situation where uh families just sell their daughters to the cartel if that's true I've read articles but if that's true that's just so sad I, I, one thing I've always hated is like if you got a daughter like in other countries they just they, they just don't care about him. Like, it's so sad, man. It's so sad. Uh, criminal opportunities proved much more fruitful and easier to find than proper work as she grew older and the charity of the adults around her dried up completely. Akaka wadded, waded, wadded deeper and deeper into the criminal underworld. Hearing about the thriving and profitable piracy scene in the Straits of Malacca, Akaka found her way across the Indian Ocean and set foot on Amber Rose. Damn. God damn. In the early 2000s, when she was still a teenager at the time, it was a hub for several small pirate crews, each of their own sea leaders and each of their own territories constantly under dispute. Amber Rose came and she was for the most part a neutral ground due to the presence of the beloved local matriarch Farah, who operated that chick from Call of Duty, who operated a bar on the island and helped keep the peace for the sake of the locals. Farah took Akaka under her wing when after she arrived and for a time Akaka was grateful Farah's affection was unconditional unaltered by whatever crimes oh uh lesbians <laughs> lesbians is you is you even lesbians I can't do that thing man I can't I can't do it and I can if I don't think about it I can do it really well it's from Key and Peele like is you two even lesbians like I can do it I just can't do it when I try to do it. I just have to like stay on the first try. If I'm wrong on the first try, I just can't get it. Is you two even lesbians? I can't do it, man. I just, I, I did it so much. I said it too much. I want to keep doing it because I feel like it'll come out right. But I can do a key and peel. A lot, I can do a lot of key and peel skits pretty well. Uh, is you even too lit? No, I can't do it. A lesbian? No, I don't know. I can't do it. And then we got Drake's, so let's be honest. Whereas affection was unconditional, unaltered by whatever crimes anyone undertook, so long as he didn't hurt anyone else who called the island home. She treated the young woman without judgment and even encouraged... Akaka have, should have killed this chick, for sure. Even encouraged the ambition, because these type of people only come in the middle of what you actually want to do is run a drug empire. So it's just never going to work that way. You got to just kill. Akaka demonstrated in assembling her own pirate crew. It took, it took time for Akaka to demonstrate her worth to the rest of the population that's what 7.9 billion people that fun with that dog she was a capable raider but she was even better at assisting targets and developing strategies of approach she was relatively indifferent to life and unafraid to take it when needed coldly gauging risk on practical costs rather than human ones unafraid to take it when the, there was a need that is different than somebody who just goes out and kills everybody like us we call the sloppy assassin 
And you're going to see what happens when Hitman or Agent 47 Krillin finishes his missions and learns that there's no more left to do. So he ends up going back to all those places where he has killed before and taken missions before and he ends everyone's life. That's a uh, kill all contracts. Um, she was relatively indifferent to life. Uh, she managed to enrich her crews in periods when others were growing lean and testifying territory disputes as a result, but Akaka and her men seemed to thrive no matter what stretch of water they hunted in. Pirates from rival groups began defecting to walk beneath her. <laughs> when another leader was killed at a botched raid, his crew folded itself and eagerly under Akaka before the remaining petty rulers of Amber Rose. Knew it, she had amassed enough manpower to overthrow them, and she did just that. Their crews were subsumed? Subsumed? I've never seen that word before. I just say submarine. Her, their crews were submarine into her own, and then themsel they themselves were swiftly killed and disposed of in the air, in the sea area. Cool, whatever. This is how Akaka became the pirate queen of Amber Rose Island. This satisfied her for a time until recently. Evidently, her base began to feel less like a throne and more like a cell. Sh um, chafing against the limitations of their isolation, Akaka began reaching out to other groups operating in the strait and more widely abroad. Gradually, she pierced her belly and, um, and by necessity, low-tech syndicate of outlaws extending as far as the Pacific Ocean in cells and pockets, their expertise, resources, and techniques and information are shared with Akaka at their epicenter. Meanwhile, her formerly close relationship with Farah was waned. There can only be one point around with which the people of Amber Rose Urbit and Akaka would prefer to be her. So I'm guessing Farah is still alive. But the only reason I'm alive, I'm guessing, is because they're, they're getting some, you know, they're running with them scissors, if you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, neutralize the satellite control unit, aka the SCU. The satellite up uplink control unit, when unlocked, allows unfeathered access to others' secure, secure off-world data storage network. Off-world is located, like, in space or something? Given the nature of Ether's business, this would give the militia or potentially even the pirates the ability to pull as much of this data as they'd like and ransom it back to the company or sell it outright. It's crazy how like nowadays digital stuff is how you be like, you can like actually make money and do bad stuff. Um, This would put the Providence back on edge and inhibit any plans to capture the constant. The best course of action is to either destroy the control unit or remove both of the required key cards from the area before it can be unlocked. Just destroy the unit. They shouldn't even unlock it. If the unit exists, they'll find some way to do the, get the key cards to unlock it. That doesn't make any sense. All right. This is... Uh... Okay, we're going to stay in the wetsuit because he probably has a, a super thick wedgie in his butt cheeks right now. So we're going to keep with that. Ryuzaki, I'm sorry for all this trouble, but I'll be back at work as soon as the doctors let me out of here. Excuse me, visiting hours were over 10 minutes ago. That's the end of that scene. <laughs> uh, Light's father just had a heart attack and Light and uh, Light and L are walking outside. What would it take to get you to believe that I'm not here? It's the conversation happening right now. All right, so carbon fiber wire. Is that right this time? Carbon fiber wire. We're going to go with the lockpick again because that is always such a big, big help. And then sed sedative poison, modern lethal syringe, sedative pills, sedative poison. What is the difference? Sedative pills? I have to show details. Sedative is, oh my God. Why name it poison then, man? Okay, we're going to go with the, uh, the pale duck. We're going to chuck this at somebody's head and then we're going to blow them up. No, blow them up. The kingdom come. What does that even mean? Kingdom come. All right. Only an 18 minute intro. I'm sorry. There's just so much to read. Hmm. Welcome to the Andaman Sea, 47. We've arrived just in time. It seems Crest didn't disclose the true object of the heist to his partners, so Akka has seized one of the satellite control unit's keycards as collateral until they can renegotiate. The militia have the set cigarette she's smoking on isn't even lit. Outpost. Both Crest and the control unit should be nearby. You'll need to destroy the unit itself or render it inoperable by retrieving both key cards. They'll make new Knowing key cards, though. He'll have given his to someone he trusts, but Akka is less inclined to delegate. Oh, that's she cool. I want to put my thing in that. When she's not out among the locals. I provided you with the GPS Ooh, tracker. 
Activate it when you're done, and I'll initiate extraction. The noise. The finish up here, the better. Noise, got some noise. He said Timberlands painted black, camo pants, and a tight wetsuit that clearly belongs to a female. But he, ooh, he's got a vein on his uh left temple. Don't mind me, just a uh, pale white dude walking amongst Indians. Hi, I saw Akka pacing around like a tiger in a cage earlier. Tiger in a cage earlier. Nervous. Ever since they got back from the raid, the mood's been different. I didn't like him. I didn't like him. This dude looked at me and gave me the stank eye. This chick didn't even acknowledge me even though I'm super hot and bald. Right? So that's kind of just rude. That is just goddamn rude. So y'all gotta die. Oh, I'm invading someone's area. Can I take a dump in this freezer? Ooh, what is that? A fishing line. Oh, fishing line. There's our carbon fiber wire. wire. <laughs> oh, homie. Should we choke him or should we? No, he's he going to drown on it. He going to drown on it. Let me see that goddamn body. Well, I want to see you drown down all. Where are you at, dog? There you go. How weak were you that I pushed you and you dead in like a couple of mere seconds? But you remember, people can lie. All right. If I watch some movies, um, I know what you did last summer and learn anything from it. Always triple check. There you go. Why is it bubbling? Is he farting? Oh, the dude's alive and he's farting. There you go. He's dead now. Don't, don't need to look back again. It's not bubbling anymore. He was in there farting it up. To, he just he, It's the wrong hole, homie. That's not the one you breathe from. He'll die because he's an idiot. Ooh, what's this? Is that a torch? I'm going to live. Okay, it's a wooden torch. Okay, can I create a, fo a forest fire? Or like, how does that work? Because that would really help me out, right? A forest fire? What up, baby girl? Smoking a ciggy ciggy, huh? Wait, wait. Oh. How do you not die from that? Ignite. Oh, the torch. Wait. Tree bark. What is that? A mole hole? Grab block hole. Brock. Grab hole. Put a fish in there. I don't know what that does. Oh, you can hide things in there. Retrieve fish. But wouldn't a mole push it through or something? Can I reignite my torch here? How do you reignite the torch? Oh, you have to go in like a special area to reignite it? Should be able to reignite it, right? No shot, I can't reignite it. Oh my god. Okay, toss it in there. Or like, how does this work? And pick it out. You've got to be kidding me. Can I stand next to it? Can I place it? Can I place it right here? Can't place it. So you can reignite a torch? Oh my god. I want to... Okay, who that, when was that one guy walking around here? I want to beat his ass. There was a guy who was like right here when we were going right. I want to beat his ass now. We got anger in us now. How does a torch... Stop torching. Just because I light it here. It looks so cool. I want to put my mouth on that and just suck on it. it. Looks so good. Where's that guy who was like right here taking a dump? I thought nobody saw him, but I saw him. What is this? They, they got soundtrack playing, but it's so low. Can I find like a... Uh, this where we started? Yeah, this is where we started, right? Yeah, this is where we started. So we came here. We saw... We went around in a circle. I should have just looked at the map. But well, that guy's right here. Can't we just kill him? Wait. It's right there. Wait a minute. Oh, me. He's right there. That's crest taken care of. I found what it. I found what it. Have fun with it. He's just standing out in the open. I'm a quick shot or not. I'm a quick scoper. You need to see my COD clips, Doc. Car 98, Modern Warfare 2019, and Warzone. SAB 50. Where do I go, dog? SAB 50? Huh? SAB 50? Drag the body and just dump it. Don't mind the bald guy. I'm just chilling, dog. Don't mind the bald homie. I'm just chilling. 
I don't like that. He shouldn't be out in the open like that. He's literally in my path. I can just walk and I can he can just see me. Like that doesn't make any sense. He shouldn't be like that. I'm sorry. That mission. I'm sorry. He shouldn't be like that. I walked in there and literally he's right there. Ooh, what up, baby boy? Baby boy. Ooh, no, no, baby boy. I need, I need you, baby boy. I need you, baby boy. No, 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 baby boy. I need you. Can I throw anything? Can I throw anything or not? Can I throw something? I can't believe I can't toss this stupid thing. Oh. Ah, Batchik will see me. Man, something ain't right down here. Something ain't right down here. Dude, my face uh, look. Oh. Could you be any more annoying? Oh, he's talking to the chick. I'm trying to see if I can get my face burnt up. Kind of like a scar to him. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, touch it. Touch it. Uh, push it. Push it to the limit. Limit. Because we're in it. In it. In it. To win it. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby girl. You get that thing out, dog. Put it in, dog. I ain't watching. Y'all got. Y'all know what condoms are around here or no? This. I see no, don't just pollute the world with your babies. Uh, so you did y'all dispose of the body already? You didn't pick up the key card, did you? Don't mind if I just pick this key card up right here? Oh, at the path. Ah! God damn, what they doing? Oh, slap fight. I never understand why people want to do this. You can get concussions from this, by the way. It's not even about getting hit hard. You can get hit in a slight angle and your bane brain will shake. Okay, so there's people there. Where's the where's the little shorty at? Can I quick scope her too? I think I'll just spend it. My bad. Man, all the shorties are smoking, dog. That is such a gross like look. Like even for a dude, I'm not I'm not I don't it's just so unattractive when you see people smoking. Hello. What up, cuh? Oh, baby girl. My name's Agent 47. And... One little uh, white on that ebony, though. You want a little frost? Maybe. Oh, that's Farah. I don't have any more coconuts on hand. Sure. I'll see what I can do about that. Oh yeah, baby girl. She's showing a little leg too. No, she got leggings on her mind. You want a little frosting on that uh, chocolate, if you know what I mean? I know exactly where to find a coconut. We passed by one. I should have picked it up. You found one like right here. Like here in the on the on the right somewhere. Hey, what up, Co? You getting in? You getting in yet? Remember, in and out. Pretty simple. It's here somewhere, right? Is that where you came from? No. Came from... Where did we come from? There was a coconut around here. There you go, right there. Right there. Pick up a cave kit. You have it, right? Yeah. If you want a ball, I got a tool. I can give you those instead, if you know what I mean, though. If you just want some balls, baby. I'm gonna help you with that, though. I can help you. I feel like the soundtrack is good, but it's too slow. Well, not slow, it's too, uh, low. What up, far as, man? I didn't even notice that it said far up there, man. Well, I can go up in that. Can I go up in that? I can, I can freaking smoke somebody from there, right? Goddamn quick snap somebody from here. Move. Baby, I got two, three. I got three coconuts, baby. Girl. I have it right here. Oh, that is a good-looking one. I show you two more. You these yeah, I work with balls all the time. Come with me. I might have another job for you. All right, baby girl. Is this that kind of job where I get to have to use my expertise on balls or what? It's been a long day. It feels like they only get longer. What you put in there, baby girl? What's on her face, by the way? 
Is that like a Indian thing? I'd still put frosting on that chocolate dog if you know what I mean. All over that chocolate. Ugh, that hit the spot at least. Okay, you wanna offer me some? She just now. Are you interested in doing me another favor? Yeah, man. That frosty shave, homie. Sure, why not? There's a local boy. Well, he's a man, you know, but he's a boy. He got very drunk last night, very stupid, and took a box of cigars from behind the bar. We don't steal from our owner out here. And I'm sure if Akka finds out what he did... Akaka, say it right. Oh, I really appreciate it. I just want the box back, no drama. I'm sure he'll be as relieved as me if you return it. I think I can handle that. You're a very good sport, Tinku. Tinku? He lives in the green shack towards the back of the village. His neighbor is a party animal with terrible taste in music, so it's easy to find. Alright, back in the village. You got like a... What is that, a boat? Uh, Farah has asked 47 to find a box of cigars that was stolen from the bar. She mentioned the suspect thief lives in a green hut near a nosy neighbor. Back. Okay, it's a hut. Alright, baby girl, I got you. After that, frosting on the cheeks, right? Or frosting on the chocolate? Dude, why do they have garbage outside like that? That's gross. We walk around with this goddamn torch like it's our goddamn, uh... Can't say it. Yeah, I'm gonna guess here somewhere. Nah, they got guns over there, homie. What up, blood? Oh, baby girl. Hey, no, you gotta get up for me, dog. God damn, dog. God damn, dog. Look at that, dog. Wait, wait, we learned this from last game. Oh, we almost had it. We almost had it. We almost had it if I just did it a little bit earlier. Hey, homie, I'm looking for the greenhouse with the loud music. Got a bad taste in music. What is he listening to? Uh... Oh. I can't think of anything. I can't think of what bad music it is. What is it? Uh... I can't say it because I don't know who's which rapper is dead or not. Because there's. I kind of don't remember which rapper died, and I feel like the one I want to say is the one who's dead. So who's going to go with, what is he listening to, ABBA? I don't know. I don't know what her songs are, but I was watching The Office, and they mentioned ABBA on there. Now, I've never heard her music, or maybe I've heard her, and I just don't know it, but uh, we're just going to go with that. That homie got slapped so hard that I guarantee you, we got to look on the ground. Change probably came out of his pocket. Okay, back of the village in a hut. What does the back of the village mean, dog? I think I just want to go again. Rediscover that she wants she wants to go at it again. Can I go in here? Ooh, whoa. Okay. Despite what you seem to think, this is far from my first and I'm not going to settle for things when I know I No, no, no. That's still Who's talking, man? All right, we need to find. We're walking on the car battery, so they'll think we're a mechanic. What does the back of the village mean, man? Is it this? Is this is a hut. Green shack. Yeah, it's this. It's this one because of the music playing. Unlock the door. Can't do that. There's a boat here too. I don't see a green shack though. Noisy neighbor? That's the only one that has music playing. Oh, I broke the thing, guess so my bad though. Homie, is you the one who stole that thing, dog? Embas hombre. Embas hombre? I thought it was India, no? The sky's in there. Fishing pole? That's fine, but. What is that? Chickens in there? Oh, it's fishes. For some reason, it seems like chickens. Is that a wrench? Hammer. We'll take that. That's a barber shop, I think.
Just walk in this dude's hovel. Let me get a... Nobody saw that, right? All right, this person's playing music. What does that place look like again? And so... Ah, Farah. Uh, what does it look like? This house? It's a hut and there's like boats around. It ain't this place. I don't think it's this place. Let's go over here and ask. Is it really your life at all? That we should still act like our ancestors and continue the mortal ways? Homie, I mean, you got a, a cigar. You got a computer in there, though. You rich, rich, homie. You rich, rich in there, dog. Wrench. Take that. Okay. Cool thing is, nobody suspects us. I guess this is like a pirate area. Oh, I think she slept with somebody and he still wants to have the relationship. He just wants her to apologize for the, uh, the bus sex she had with someone else. Okay, we're gonna go to the other way because I don't think it's this way. That place over there is the back of this, this. This could be the back of the village, but what does it look like again? I hate that I just doesn't remember where I was at. Um, there's like Christmas lights. Okay, let's look for that. There's no Christmas lights here. There's like Christmas lights in the background. What is the homie listening to, Lil Wayne? I'm playing. Hello, Lil Wayne. Oh, green hut. But this is this is back of the village. I think they're watching a movie here. Oh, it's that guy we killed in uh the place. It is my favorite. Hey, what dog? He makes ass films, dog. What do you got in here? What is that? Vodka bottle. Oh yeah, don't mind if I do. Homie. Walk around stealing shit from people, dog. That's our life. We're a klepto. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's here, but we're just gonna keep opening doors and just you know having the time of our life. Gee, if any doors unlocked, I'm gonna go in there. I won't. I won't break open doors just yet. Move, homie. Move, homie. All right, let's go down here. I do love how populated this place is. Everyone's like doing the little, little thing in the village. But we gotta look for, uh, we gotta look for, we'll go that way. What, we, what is that blocked off? I think it's blocked off. Yeah, it's blocked off. Never mind. Hmm. I think it's this because this is the only place with, uh, with lights. Is it this? Oh, oh homie. Is it this? Why, why homies be locking doors, dog? Is that one? This is where the, uh, the lights are. Oh, wait, there's a place to go in the back here. Okay. It's around. It's around. I can hear the loud music. Weird. Weird. I think it's over here. That right there. How do I get there? How do I get there? I think it's right there. Move, homie. Yeah, dog. What's your mama gonna do about it, huh? What's your mama gonna do about it? Okay, we found it. Let me wait. Let me scratch my back. One second. All right, drop down. Okay, how do we go around? Wait. Stairs over here. There you go. Okay. If we can get a little frosting action on that chocolate, then I'm down. Why is everyone smoking? This is the green hut. Homie, is it you? That's a tight shirt you got on, baby girl. It's this someone somewhere here. Is it cigars in there? It's a note in there. Dude, how do you even go near your house, homie? What is that? Screwdriver. I have like 30 screwdrivers right now. Pick up iron.
garden for it. Oh, your tea be burning, Doc. Got a knife in there. A stove. Alright, them hoes be nosy. Tell me your tea burning, Doc. How do you even go into this home? I'm pretty sure it's this. Yeah, this is the house. Okay. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I stole them. I blacked out when I woke up. I didn't know what to do. I panicked and buried them somewhere, but now I can't find them. I don't know how to make this right before I found, I found side. I have to leave Farah. I am sorry. Please forgive me. And grab this shovel as well. Oh, grab this fish. All right. Well, at least you found them, right? You didn't see anything, Doc. Oh, we got a belly button showing, though, and a bra on, man. Where the hell is this place, Doc? Okay, let's go meet our Kaka or our Farah. Let's see if she makes us dig it up or not. I feel like she's going to make me go around and dig it. And if that's true, then I don't know where the hell to go and find this goddamn thing. But if I come up there, for some reason, for some reason, I feel like watching Kakagaudu, that uh, gambling anime. Okay, she don't give an F. She literally do not give an F. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Okay, we gotta find it somewhere on the village now. He went and buried it somewhere. Where do you think he would bury it? Can we dig this hole up? No, you can't dig it up. So I'm guessing it's gonna be like a prompt to dig something. How do I don't know where, though? Oh, this is gonna be such a hoe to find. All of this just to meet with Farah. Oh, we found their secret lair. That was easy. Well, it doesn't say that we're not allowed to be here. Is that a starfish? What is that? A coconut. In case you want some more balls. Is that a dead fish? Seashell. Yeah, I don't know what to... Uh... What is that? Pick up Katagawa. Open treasure chest. What is that? Buccaneer cannonball cannonball cannonball. What's a buccaneer? What's this thing? Seashell Katagawa. Am I allowed to walk out here with this stuff or no? I'm guessing I'm one of the old pirates. Oh, look, he kind of had a mustache. A little left-handed mustache. My bad, though. Keep it, keep, keep it one hundred. I mean, it's this is the same as me not wearing, uh, me wearing that, right? So, like, what even is the point of not wearing this wetsuit? Only the good thing about the wetsuit is I got a a a deep wedgie, and that's about it. That's the only plus point. Okay, so is it gonna glow like that block hole thingy, the berry place? We'll run around a couple times and see what happens. If not, we just we just go kill that shorty in a goddamn pirate costume. Oh, we're a Jack Sparrow looking ass. Oh, that's an axe, right? Pick up Kuranai. Wait, having that on my back, does people get angry with that or no? Wait, let me... Drop that. Yeah, yeah, he, he don't he don't like that. I'm gonna leave that knife over there. Oh, but did you see somebody burying some garbage over here? Wait, can I go up and like be like, hey, man. What's this? Nah, nah, I can't let you through here. Are you nuts? Your 
obviously having trouble with the concept of no trespass. I just wanted to see if they'd react, but they didn't react. They see goddamn Jack Sparrow up in this hoe, and they don't react. What is that? Can I climb this? Seashell. Climb this to do what? Oh, get above them. Not interested. I don't even know why would I, why would I want to go there. Well, there's like a... Maybe cool if we can get to that uh, ship. Like Davy Jones locker type thing. That's pirates, right? Yeah, that's pirate. Jack Sparrow. Alright, let's 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 look for a hole. I don't know. I have no idea what to look for, by the way. That's why we're hitting, in, we're hitting uh, instinct a lot. It's because I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. Will I see a prompt or... I'm sure there will be a prompt, but like, how can I identify it from far away? If I'm close or not to the... Uh, the booty hole we're uh, digging in through. Me and Hennessy and you. Me Hennessy and you. Me Hennessy and you. Ooh, I can dig that hole. No? I can dig that hole. Retrieve fish. Night missing torch. Someone died here. Teabag the hell out of that. Wait, is that us? I think that's us. I think that's us. No, right, don't mind me, homie. I'm just looking for a goddamn hole. My homie's my homie digged it and doesn't know where because he was drunk apparently. No way. Never that. Okay, he's cool. I guess I can't go in there because they have the ha the ham hand thingy over there. How is no one here that can just kick off? Ooh, my back of my head just started hurting for some reason. I love that nobody cares that I'm gonna goddamn run around like a pirate. Like, I feel like they're used to this type of stuff. Ew, somebody shit in a notebook? That's gross. Calm down. What? Crest appears to be pestering with the mechanics about the progress and the repairs. Okay, no one cares about that because he's already dead. Alright. So a Nolan Crest, aka the Swallower. Oh my god, dude is in an erection and arousement from fishing. That is gross. Where's the stupid hole I'm looking for, Doc? Oh, this is like a place to eat, right? It's not going to be here though, right? We'll look around a little bit more, and after that, we're gonna take this shovel and shove it up someone's butthole. No vodka bottle. You sir sure should not be drinking anymore. I'm guessing wherever he um did the thingy is that bad guy. Okay, that was a close one. That was a close one. But that is a construction working going on a digging site. So I'm guessing I can go there. This one is about to get popped on. Oh shot someone sees me, right? No one heard that, right? No shot, no one heard that. Me, Hennessy, and you. And bamboo. Okay, we're gonna take out the pistola. No one saw that. I was a freebie, so I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm stupid not to take that shot. I was a goddamn freebie. 